Welcome back to Introduction to Engineering Design. This is module 5.5a, and we are working on our disk with the keyway and a series of 10 holes, I believe. Yeah, so let's get started. So first, if you open your instructions, you'll see this page. We'll take a quick look at what we're going to be doing. We're basically going to be revolving this shape so that we can make a disk. So let's get that started first. So I'll click on Revolve, and it doesn't really matter the plane I'm going to work in. I'll just choose that plane, and I'm going to first lay down a construction line. Construction line, infinite length. Again, this just makes it really easy for me to do my Revolve. I'm going to accept that. And now I'm going to start sketching my L shape. So I'm going to come right above here and sketch this out. Vertical over, down, and make the foot of my L. I've got my L now, so now it's time to add some dimensions. It is about an inch wide at the base. It is about two and a half inches radius and uh, 0.5 inches wide at the top here. So let me do that. Great. And now let me give a dimension down here. And what we really want this to be is 2.5 inches. Now notice that if I drug that dimension to the other side when I did it, I would get a uh, diameter. That's not what this calls for. This calls for an actual radius. So I'm going to go one inch there. Oh, my apologies. This is actually one inch here. And it's not going to let me do that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this dimension. Make this 0.375 right here. There we go. Okay, so now just to fully define my sketch, you'll see that I'm missing a few definitions on it. One of the things I need to do is I need to put this point right here and that point. If I make these coincident, so I gotta get out of that tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a relation from here and here, make them vertical, and that defines my sketch because I located everything on my sketch. I'll go ahead and exit my sketch. SolidWorks says, hey, he probably wants to spin this around, and that is in fact true. So I'll go ahead and accept that. And now I have my part. So just looking at the part, the next step for me to do is for me to uh, go ahead and view a, get the right view that I want here. There we go. All right, good enough. Now what I want to do is I want to cut a little keyway in the top of this thing. So let me uh, actually roll this thing around here. There we go. Well, that took a while. Okay, I'm going to cut this keyway. I'm going to cut a quarter inch keyway into this. So what I'll do is I'll start a new sketch on the face and I'm going to do an extruded cut. And I'm just going to come right up here and click on that surface. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a center rectangle somewhere in here. Accept it and dimension that bad boy at a quarter inch wide. and a quarter inch deep. Sorry, it should be 0.125. And 0.125. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm again going to use this add a relation for some symmetry. I'm going to click and make that horizontal. I'm sorry, vertical. That's what I meant. Uh, delete my horizontal relationship. Accept that. And I'm going to go ahead and move this thing up. 
And what I want to do is make this point coincident. Coincident with the circle. And then I'll accept that. Exit my sketch, I'm fully defined. And I'm going to do my cut through all. And you'll see that I cut a nice little notch out of that. There you have it. Okay, so because I use these two points, I'm actually not cutting away right on the arc. I'm cutting slightly below the arc in that particular instance. So now I've got my keyway. So let's go ahead and cut a half inch hole up here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to locate where I want to put that hole. So I'm going to again use a sketch and I'm going to sketch on this say the surface of the disk and I'm going to add a point and I'm just going to drop a point somewhere up in here. Accept it and then I'm going to dimension this and I need this to be 1.65 off of the center line. And I also want that hole to have a relationship to my origin where it is vertically above it. That assures that I start in the right spot and keep some symmetry about it. Now I'll use my hole wizard and instead of sketching a bunch of points and then uh, trying to use my uh, and then trying to use my sketch with a bunch of points to do hole wizard, I'm going to do hole wizard once and repeat that. So I've exited my sketch, it's fully defined, and now I'll go to Hole Wizard. And what I want is I want a through hole that's half an inch through all. So I'm going to come in here and I can position this uh, by clicking on my 3D sketch, dropping my hole onto position. You'll see that bores that single hole through there. Nice and neat. Now if I wanted to go ahead and do a pattern of this, now I'll do a circular pattern. And the first thing the circular pattern asks me is, what am I going to go about? I can choose this face. I can choose that face. And we'll go ahead and choose the inside face. I'm going to go around 360 degrees. And I want 10 of these spaced equally. So let's put the number 10 in. Now the features that this is asking me is what do I want to pattern? You see as soon as I click on that it patterns. Now it's interesting that I don't really need to choose, uh, let me delete that one out of there, come back up and I can choose all sorts of different faces to go around and it doesn't really change it at all as long as it's circular it goes all the way around. It does the same job. So we'll go ahead and accept that and you'll see that's a much quicker way to do a pattern of the same holes. The key here though is it has to be uh, it has to be the same hole that you pattern over and over. So that's using the hole wizard and pattern in SOLIDWORKS and a few more sketch tools. That's pretty much your circular pattern. Thanks for watching.